Tornadoes by Kate O'Donnell. Tornadoes are violently rotating columns of air that stretch from the ground to the clouds of a thunderstorm. Tornadoes happen on every continent except Antarctica. Tornadoes are most common in Tornado Alley in the United States. Northern Texas, Western Colorado, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska make up Tornado Alley. Tornadoes form in Tornado Alley because this is where the warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico meets the cool, dry polar air that comes down from Canada during the spring and summer. The Rocky Mountains cause the cool air to sit on top of the warm air. The rising warm air and falling cool air meet the fast-moving air currents of the jet stream and the air becomes turbulent. The warm, moist air rises in updrafts, and as they cool, the water vapor in the air condenses to form thunderclouds. The energy released by the condensing water makes the updrafts stronger and the thunderstorm bigger. The updrafts of the rising air and the downdrafts of the cool air causes the winds inside the thunderstorm to rotate. If the updrafts are powerful enough, they can tilt the horizontal rotating wind up so that it revolves around a vertical axis. The mass of spinning air within the thunderstorm is called a mesocyclone. Most mesocyclones do not lead to tornadoes. As a tornado forms, the strong updrafts around the mesocyclone mean air can't get inside the center of the rotating winds. Fewer air molecules inside the mesocyclone creates low pressure inside and high pressure outside of it. The differences in pressure around the mesocyclone cause a condensation funnel. A condensation funnel is also known as a funnel cloud. A condensation funnel is a tapered column of spinning water droplets that extends down from the thunderstorm. As the condensation funnel reaches for the ground, it mixes with dust and debris from the surface of the earth. Scientists do not consider a rotating storm a tornado until the condensation funnel reaches the ground. The weakest tornadoes last only a few minutes, and the strongest tornadoes can last for hours. In 1971, a Japanese-American meteorologist named T. Theodore Fujita developed the Fujita scale to measure the intensity of tornadoes. Wind speeds in a tornado are too intense to be measured during a storm, so the Fujita scale ranks tornadoes based on the amount of damage they cause. Often, a tornado's classification depends on where it lands, because most damage occurs in populated areas. In 2007, scientists updated the Fujita scale and renamed it the Enhanced Fujita Scale, or EF scale. EF0, 65 to 85 mile per hour winds. EF1, 86 to 110 mile per hour winds. EF2, 111 to 135 mile per hour winds. EF3, 136 to 165 mile per hour winds. EF4, 166 to 200 mile per hour winds. EF5, greater than 200 mile per hour winds. While most tornadoes are EF0 or EF1, the EF4 and EF5 tornadoes cause the most tornado-related deaths. Since 1953, meteorologists have been able to decrease the number of deaths caused by tornadoes by issuing tornado watches when conditions are right for a tornado. If they spot a tornado, they issue a tornado warning to alert residents to find shelter immediately. Tornadoes are dangerous because their powerful winds tear apart buildings and whip debris through the air. People can be hurt by collapsing buildings, being hit by debris, or being dragged along the ground by the wind. If you are in a tornado, you should seek shelter in a basement or interior room of your house. If you're outside, seek shelter in a ditch and hold on to something like a tree stump. Supercell tornadoes form from thunderstorms, like I have described so far in this reading passage. Non-supercell tornadoes are created by rotating wind at the Earth's surface. They move from the ground up and are not usually as powerful as a supercell tornado. Or to a tornadic water spout is an example of a non-supercell tornado. Tornadoes end when the temperature differences around them end. There is no more moisture left in the air, or the air around them becomes more stable. Until the environment around a tornado changes, there is nothing we can do to stop a tornado, which is why scientists want to study them, so we can learn how to keep people safe from these deadly storms. 
the end.